Hello and welcome to the AFL Riverina Football and Netball Show. I'm your host, Hannah Maguire. Now we had some big bumper football games in the Riverina and Farrah Leagues this weekend. There were quite a few major upsets in there as well. We've got some very special guests joining us in the studio, studio later on. Three GWS Giants players, they'll talk through this weekend's games and uh, give us their tips on who they think will win. That's coming up not too far away. But firstly, we're joined in the studio now by Jock Curry. Now Jock, he is the organiser of the Carroll Cup and that's just wound up last week. Now the Rock... Uh, the Rock track, the Riverina Anglican College, they took out that game, the final, and um, it's the first time in 33 years that a non-Catholic school has actually won, isn't it, Jock? That's right, Hannah. Uh, it was a long time ago Wagga High School won, and I was very fortunate to be the coach of that team, but it's been a long, long time between drinks for the non-Catholic colleges, so the non-Catholic schools. And track indeed played in their very first grand final of the Carrot Cup competition and uh, won it over the hot favourites, Marta Day. <clears throat> and why do you think it, you know a non-Catholic school ha hasn't won it for so long? What, what's the reason behind that, do you think? I have lots of theories, but uh, I'll just leave it at the fact that they, they seem to uh, pick up a, a lot of very good players from all over the Riverina, not just from Wagga. And most of the other schools in Wagga just um, have to rely on the local players. But uh, when you've got uh, content coming in from places like Gairmay and Coolman and even beyond that at the Catholic colleges, it certainly gives them a big spread to select from. Okay, and what does it mean for these boys to win so, like a, a game of footy that's as prestigious as the uh, Carroll Cup as it is these days? Yes, it is a very prestigious trophy. Amongst uh, <coughs> the Hardy Shield, which is Rugby League, uh, the, the uh, Tracy Gunson Shield for netball, it would be one of the three biggest crowd pullers and uh, the three uh, biggest prestigious competitions that is played between the schools. Uh, the boys really look forward to Carroll Cup. I mean, you meet ex-students and uh, their first question is not how's the maths lessons going, it's how did the Carroll Cup go this year? They, they really uh, love playing it. It's a competition that's been going for 45 years now and um, yes, uh, a track I know really enjoyed getting into the final for one and winning it was just uh, something really great for them. How important is it to have these kind of competitions at schools? Look, it's really important because uh, they get to play with their schoolmates who are often their opponents at weekends. Uh, it also gives an opportunity for those boys who, who don't play the game at weekends to actually be involved in, in different sports uh, in their school life. And uh, they certainly make the most of it and uh, go out and, and really go out to impress because a lot of people come along and watch these games and many a player has been uh, recruited to the big time directly from school games. It sounds like a very good concept and it works really well. That was Jock Curry, from the organiser from the Carroll Cup. Thanks for joining us today, Jock. Thanks very much, Anna. We're now joined by our very special guests, the boys from the GWS Giants. Welcome to the show, guys. We've got Kurt Aylett, you're from Leeton originally. We have uh, Zach Williams from Narandra and Joe Redfin from Wagga. Um, first of all, tell us uh, what you're doing in Wagga. Um, us three boys here, we're on our uh, mid-season break and uh, we've got a chance to come back and uh, just go to the Giants Cup today and sort of get around the community a little bit and it's always good to get back home and especially when you get out in the community and see some young kids and help out and especially last night we went to the hospital as well to see some some sick uh, sick young kids who are uh, a lot more unfortunate than us so it's good to get down there and hopefully put a smile on their faces. Yeah and how was that Kurt? You, you've got a bit of... Um... Yeah. yeah look it was great, it's fantastic. Um, obviously early on in the year I've been down at, and then done the hospital visits um, in February and it was just great to get down there again and um, just Try your luck, Joey said. Put a smile on the young kids' face, and plenty of the kids there last night were crazy AFL fans, and um, it was just fantastic for us three boys to get down and um, say hello, sign a few autographs, get a few photos, and really put a smile on their face because I know th they go through some hard times, and uh, that was just great for us. So yeah, I know they really enjoyed it. Um, we're going to talk footy now. We've got the, um, the Riverina League, their matches coming up, and we're going to speak to um, <coughs> Zach first. Yep. Uh, Naranda take on Leeton, your old team, Kurt. Now, um, yep. who do you think is going to take out this one? You were best on ground for the, the grand final last year when Naranda took it out. Do you yep. reckon they can uh, beat their arch rivals? Um, well, they come off a bye, so I think they'll be uh, pretty fresh. So 
I'll be back in uh, the home team to take it out against Leighton. They beat uh, Leighton in round one, so I went and watched that game, actually. So I'm actually back in the ring draft to get up. OK, <laughs> what do you reckon, Kurt? Oh, I have to disagree with that. Um, <laughs> and obviously, uh, you know, look, the, the Leighton boys could come off a, just a four-point loss to the Wagga Tigers last week, which is... Um, you know they'll be pretty. Uh, they'll be going in this game pretty fired up to get a win against the Rangers. And as Zach said, they'll beaten by them um, in round one. So um, yeah, hopefully they get the four points and uh, it'll be great for the community. So. Okay. Do you boys sort of take any keen interest in um, your home s- sides anymore? Or yeah, personally, yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, I think yeah. like obviously um, we're pretty busy and stuff, but I, I try and uh, obviously I've got a, f- a few mates down there still playing for them and keep in touch with them and see how they're going and. Um, yeah, I hopefully try to catch a game during the week, at the end of the week, so. Okay. Yeah, I'm just saying with Cuda, like I still have mates that play senior footy in their interest, so just whenever I can, just give them a ring or give them a, give them a text and just see how they're going with everything. And they seem to be going pretty well at the moment, but yeah, like I try and get, get, get in touch and ask how they're going every now and then. Okay. Now, Joe will speak to you about the, the Coolerman's upcoming game. You played for them in your um, senior years of footy. Um, they played Wagga Tigers this weekend. Do you think that they can beat them? I mean, they had a great game last weekend against uh, Gan Main that kept their t- top of the table position. Yeah, um, I, was, I was actually here for the first round when they played Tigers and uh, I've been keeping a close eye on it and the boys seem to be going really well. So hopefully if they can sort of carry that form on, I know they've... Um, couple of good new recruits and a couple of the young boys really stepping up this year so I reckon if they can keep the form going they should um, should get over Tigers which will be good and I'll hopefully get down there and watch the guys have a run around which will be good so yeah can't wait for that. Okay how long has it been since you've played with uh, Coolerman and how does the side today compare to what, what it was when you played? Um, it's about two years since I played with them last. Um, we went out and we got out to training this afternoon and sort of catch up with all the guys again and I think Hasn't been a massive turnover of players, but a lot of the guys who were there when I have really stepped up, young guys like um, Murray Stevenson, um, Mitch O'Brien, those sort of guys, they've really stepped up this year and um, yeah, they're kicking a lot of goals and playing really well. All right, so who's your who's your tip? <laughs> I'll definitely go with Coolman. Okay, um, and also we've got some other matches. So we've got Gamain versus Colin Gully. Uh, who do you reckon will win that one? Who's gonna? Oh, I reckon I'm... Uh back in Colin Gully, um, heard that uh, big Mark Eppert's uh, going all right these days, so apparently in the new, you got a big write-up in the newspaper about being godlike, so i uh, going to have to back Colin Gully, I reckon. Right, what do you reckon, Kurt? Uh, yeah, look, obviously Gep's looking after us boys <coughs> these, these past two days, so yeah, I have to go with Colin Gully. So. Yeah, I reckon I'll have to go with the Gully as well, he's kicked 11 last week, the big fella, so I reckon he's in for another big one this week, you'll get him over the line, I reckon. Right, we'll see how they go. And uh, Griffith and Turvey Park. Who do you reckon out of that game? Uh, uh, Turvey, yeah. yeah. Turvey? Oh, no, I'll go Griffith. I know a few boys from Griffith, so I'm going to have to back Griffith, I reckon. Radio? Yeah, I reckon I'll go with Griffith in that one. I think they, um, they're up for a big win, so hopefully they can play well and get the win. Okay, um, now we're going to go into probably something that's a bit out of your, um, your field, but the Farrah League, you're probably not too sure about how the, these guys are going, but we'll start with the Jets versus East Wagga. Who do you think out of this game? Um, obviously, oh... I'll have to go to the Jets, I reckon. Like, um, yeah, it'd be a good game, I think. So, it'd just be interesting to see what the result is, I guess. So, mm, Jets yeah. won last last uh, time they played, and they've yeah. been playing pretty well, except for their uh, upset uh, against tomorrow. They got a bit of a flogging there. Um, <laughs> what about what about you? What do you reckon? Yeah, Zach? I'm probably gonna have to go. I uh, heard that the Jets are in form, so I'm gonna have to go to the Jets, I reckon. Yeah, I've heard the Jets are in form, but I've got a lot of mates to play for the East Wagga, so I reckon I might have to go with loyalty, and hopefully the East Wagga boys get up. <laughs> Radio. Collie, Collie Ambly versus Tamora, the reigning premiers who had a super game against the Jets last weekend. Oh, yeah, I think Tamora. Um, yeah, it'd be, uh, like I said, another cracking game. And um, yeah, obviously Tamora got some big bodies and cracking hard, so yeah. Yeah, I'm all there, reigning premiers, so probably have to go with uh, Tamora, yeah. I reckon, yeah. Yeah, I'll stick with the boys and go tomorrow on this one. Okay, now Mara caused a major upset last week. They beat uh, The Rock, who everyone's tipping to take out the flag this year. Um, Mara versus North Wagga, who are you tipping in this one? Yeah, look, I've got my brother, he plays for CSU, so um, yeah, he's, he's talked up. Um, uh, sorry. Mara and North Wagga. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, Mara. So yeah, um, yeah, he's talked them up as a good side, obviously. Um, CSU have been struggling with themselves this year, but um, yeah, so I'd have to go with them. Yep. I'm going to probably just take Kuda's advice and go with Mara, I reckon. So. Yeah, I'll Mara. go with Mara as well. <laughs> and the last game, CSU versus The Rock. I have to go CSU, my brother. So, um, <laughs> yeah. No, I reckon I'm, I'll back The Rocky. So. 
yeah, I'll go with The Rock as well on this one. Okay, well, there you go. You've heard it from, uh, I don't know if we can say they were expert tips, but you've heard it <laughs> from the Giants boys, and that's who they tip, they're tipping for this weekend's games. Make sure you try and head out to one of those games if you can. Uh, that's about all we've got time for today, so thanks for joining us. Make sure you catch up online at aflriverina.com.au for next week's show. But until then, we'll see you later.